Good morning. It's very early here. It is. Okay, it's not that early. It's nine, but I've been up forever now. Um, yeah, stuff's been going on. But before I talk about all that, let me just say that my name is Claudie and welcome. <laughs> uh, yeah, so this is episode three and yeah, it's been a couple of weeks since I recorded, I think feel like it's been a couple of weeks. Um, yeah. I don't have, I don't, I'm not quick enough when it comes to like knitting especially to be able to warrant doing something weekly, at least not right now, like maybe later, but I'm thinking every other week would be awesome. Maybe every three weeks. We'll see. I'm just going to do it whenever. There you go. If I, if a natural schedule appears, then it appears. <laughs> Right now, I've got so many other things on my mind that that just, quite frankly, is not um, something I want to take more mental time on. <sighs> um, there's been a lot of stuff that's happened, but really everything's sort of been overshadowed by the last couple of days. On Saturday, well, Saturday night, so Sunday morning, one, it was 1.30, technically, a.m. Sunday morning, my brother-in-law called me saying that my mom was in the hospital. So, yeah. If you follow me on Instagram, um, you will see that I was, I posted a video about heading south. Well, I am back home now, but um, I'll be going back there again soon. <sighs> so, yeah. My mom is not young. You know what I mean? She was older when she had me. And I am older than I look. So, um, yeah. Stuff happens and, you know, it's to be expected. But my mom and her two sisters, well, two of her sisters, she has more than that. But two of her sisters, they were out. They went out to a local place and then they went to get um, food at one of those, like, all-night type of diner kind of places. And, yes. If I told you her age, you would be like, oh, what's she doing out so late? But she would also, you know, she might kill me if I, if I tell the world what her age is. So we won't do that. But they were out and apparently she, for lack of a better term, passed out three times. Um, but I don't think, it wasn't passing out. It was something more serious. Long story short, they don't know yet what's going on. They're still running tests. <sighs> yeah, so it, we went down there, we actually, my sister went to the hospital and found out what was going on, and so I was, it just was decided that I would just wait until the morning to come down, so that's what I did, and my husband and I drove down, um, yesterday, I was trying to remember the days now, we drove down yesterday and we spent the day there, and then in the evening we came back up, they live about two and a half hours away from me, so it's not, you know, a really quick journey, but I'll be making that journey again soon, <laughs> so probably today, but it's fine. Um, yeah, Ugh, I'm going on very little sleep. I'm just going to apologize for my flightiness and my just forgetfulness. Whatever. <sighs> um, yeah. So it's just, you know, it's my mom. I want to know what's going on. I don't want her to have that happen again. You know, I mean, it could be very serious and we need things answered. So, um, but she is fine. Like right now, currently she's fine. I talked to her like she woke me up at 730 this morning and you know, it's fine. Um, she talked to the doctors and they're running more tests, of course. And yeah, my sister's going to be there. And I'll, I'll probably go back down today. Um, yeah. So let's talk about happier things before I just, I don't know, forget everything. I made a list of stuff we're going to talk about. Oh, um, there's a giveaway that I will be announcing the winner for. I'm going to do that a little later. I'm going to go through like what I'm working on and stuff first. So just stick around and, you know, or if you don't want to really watch it all the way, just skip forward and you'll eventually see it. I'll be holding up yarn, I'm sure. Uh, okay, so let's talk about the things I finished. I finished two things. One of which I am, I'll show you, but I'm not going to put it on. 
And I, I looked. I actually don't have a project page for it up yet. Sorry. Um, I had I had started this before with a different yarn, so I do have a. I think it's like a hibernating one or whatever, but yeah. So I finished my Chevron Lace cardigan. It is by. Uh, it's listed as Malobo, but I believe that is, yeah, Malobo on Ravelry. It's a free, um, a free download, or probably, yeah, free download. It's free pattern. I'm not gonna put it on again, and I need to see, can't see myself. <laughs> so here it is. It's not. I probably should have put it on a hanger, but whatever. I have not woven in the ends, so that's the reason I'm not going to put it on. I didn't want to mess it up, but you can see it's, I made the sleeves. Um, I did two rounds extra on the sleeves. I decided not to do like full length sleeves or anything. Um, and then it's, it hits me about mid hip. I'm going to take pictures and stuff later, but not today. Um, I yeah. I'm just not going to. <laughs> so I will show it. I'll show it again maybe one more time. I guess, I mean, I could put it on, but I don't know. It still has like some serious end issues. But I really, really liked it. Oh, and I did, um, what else did I do? I did a one round of single crochet on the edges of the sleeves. And then on the, for the round, the, um, the, button band and up around the neck and all of that. I did another one round of single crochet. I'm not sure. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with button placement or some kind of closure or anything like that. So I decided to hold off for now. I figure I can do more rows if I decide I want to do that. I kind of like the idea of maybe getting, I don't ha I don't have any, like getting or making those like sweater closures, you know, like the, I don't know, when you imagine like teachers from like the fifties, that's what they're wearing. You know, like they've got like a cardigan on with the little like clips that have a chain between them. I don't know. So we'll see. <laughs> um, we'll see. But I really, really do like it. It's, it's very pretty and I, it's very comfy, but I think, um, I'm going to wash it and see because this yarn plumps up a little bit. So it will be a little bit warm for summer, I think. Maybe like summer indoors, like if there's air conditioning on or something. But I don't know about like summer outside in the heat and humidity that we have. Um, the yarn is... I'm drawing a blank. Bernat Cottonish. There we go. In the gray t-shirt colorway. <sighs> Again, very little sleep. So, let's see. I'm just going to put that back in the bag. Oh, I'm keeping it in a bag by um, Southpaw Creation on Etsy. It's Erin Give Me Yarn 418 over here on YouTube. So, um, she has really cute stuff. And she's got different types of bags now. So, if I were not trying to not buy everything. <laughs> All right, and then I finished, I'm pretty sure I showed these before. I finished my uh, mittens that I was making for the Gratitude Cow. These are the um, Cruiser Mitts by someone, Kaylin Meyer. This is also free on Ravelry. I, had, I ended up having, so I finished one and it was fine and everything. And then I did the second one and I realized that the first one was not fine. Um, I ended up ripping out, I think I did the right one first. I ended up ripping out to about, again, I, can't, I keep moving the thing over from there, I can't see. Um, so I ended up ripping it down to right before I started the decreases, so right about here. And re-knitting this, doing the decreases, um, Oh no, I added an extra cable repeat and then I added um, two even rows between rows or after row seven and row ten and the decreases because I needed this to be just a little 
longer, deeper, whatever. So yeah, they are really, really nice. I really like them. And yeah, the color or the yarn is Cascade 220. And uh, let's see, I believe it's French Lavender is the colorway. Um, and that's the color number is 8888. This yarn was gifted to me by um, a person I did a swap with. And she's on here, here on YouTube too. It's Yarn Yenta 247, I believe. If it's different, I'll put it down. But she's she's really nice. She has a... Um, a channel here and she does videos and stuff too. I have watched some but I'm I'm way behind on videos period so yeah there's there's very little that I'm up to date on. <laughs> um yeah so I I am so happy about these. They are really really warm. I um knit these on let's see a six a US six which is a four millimeter and over on that the cardigan that was a size k crochet hook that i've been using just fyi so now these are done differently you don't do a, a thumb gusset on them normally when you're doing mittens you will increase to allow for this little you know for the thumb wedge or whatever they call it the triangle but on this one you don't so you go up and you work to where you want to start doing the thumb and you do you put in um, waist yarn and you basically do an afterthought thumb like if you were doing socks or something yeah I really like the, the pattern on it it's really easy it's very memorizable is that a word um, and I just I like it I don't know if this type of mitten fits me the best um, my hands are not like, I don't think I have big hands, and they're kind of short, but they are maybe a little wider than maybe her hand, the person who made the pattern up. Maybe she has, like, long, skinny hands or something. Um, so I, they do fit. I mean, they fit fine. You can see, like, I can move my thumb and everything. But I think a thumb gusset might help. But what also I could do is just increase. I could do, on this particular pattern, just do maybe a couple of increases, and I think that would alleviate just a little bit of the tightness. You can see the yarn stretches just a little right there. And I think if I did like one in like 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 so two increases here. So like one each where my fingers are and maybe another set up a couple of rows up, I think that would probably fix that, but I'm not worried about it. These are going to be really nice and warm come winter time. And I've woven in all the ends and everything. I've not blocked it or anything. I think I probably won't, to be honest. But, yeah. They are, they're really lovely. And I really like the yarn. And I just wanted to thank Lisa. That's her name. I just wanted to thank her for gifting me that yarn. Because it's definitely going to come in use in the form of this. I had some yarn left over. I already, I put it into a, I wound it up. I don't, I didn't measure it, so I have no idea how much is left, but, um, quite a bit. I think I could use it for, I've got some more of this yarn, I'm pretty sure, and so I thought maybe I might just do, like, a stripey something. Maybe I'll do more mittens. So, yeah. You can never have too many mittens. That's a rule. Alright, so I think that's it for everything I finished. I'm just dumping everything in the chair over there. I did not buy anything, just, at least I don't think I did. Yeah. Um, as for what I'm working on, it's crinkling, sorry. Okay, my hair, I need to stop. I look, yeah, y'all understand. So I don't think I've shown these on here yet. Um, these are my, Hermione's Everyday Socks. These are, um, it's a free knitting pattern on Ravelry. And let's see, I can tell you more information about it if I pull it up. Um, they are by Erica Lunder. And they are really, really cute. I have one finished. So technically, see? And then I've got this much. But I'll show you the finished one real quick. So you can get an idea of what it looks like. 
it's, it's cute, right? So it's got a texture pattern here on the top. And you can sort of see there's the toe. So you can see like where it's plain. I know my I know my camera does not focus very well. I think I'm gonna get a new camera. If you have any recommendations, that would be great. I need one that will focus when I put it up close without doing weird things. So uh, basically it's just a four row and only two of them are anything that is not plain. Um, a four row repeat and it's really, it's really simple and I highly recommend it if you, if you're looking to start out knitting socks because this is actually the first pair of um, socks I've made for an adult. I've made baby socks before but I feel like those are easier. I don't know. Those don't feel like real socks to me. Like, they are, I guess, but I don't know. Probably because they're so tiny and they take, like, no time. Um, I made these pretty short. You can see I didn't do a long cuff. I don't really wear really tall socks, usually, so. Yeah. And the, um, the yarn, you probably want to know, is Lion Brand Sockies, and the color is Rock Candy, I believe. Yeah, Rock Candy. So I bought this, I believe, on clearance from Joann's. They had a clearance, I guess it was last summer, maybe. And yeah, so it's mostly gray, and it's got a little bit of this sort of lime green, brown, a darker gray, and some white. And this is what it looks like worked out. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, it's... I noticed that... Um, when I was in the hospital, I was working on these, and I noticed when I was at the hospital that the gray actually looks a little purple. It might have just been the lighting in there, but, because here they look gray to me, and in the rest of my house they look gray, but yeah. So super cute. The yarn is, um, is a little rough, to be honest. I have some more of this yarn, and I don't know, I really like the colorways, but I just don't know if I'm going to, um, I don't know if I'm going to use it again because it's actually, I don't know. I feel like if I, it's probably just because I'm working on it too long, but I feel like I get a little, not a callus, but maybe like the start of a callus on my finger. Just a little irritation from where I tension my yarn, which I hold like this when I'm knitting. So I get a little bit of like, just from where it rubs constantly, I think. Or maybe it's just because it's so thin. I don't know. It's not been enough to make me like stop or anything, but yeah. So I am doing this on, with, these are US 1s, the 2.5 millimeter. Um, these needles are Knit Picks. And I'm doing um, two needles, two 16 inch needles, which I really like working in the round on two needles. It is a little like you've got extra stuff going on, but. Um, I like it. I do think that where I meet, like where the two rows or the two needles meet that first stitch, I think that those stitches are slightly tighter than the rest, which probably will, um, the first time I wash it, it'll probably, won't be able to tell. But I just feel like those, when I look at them, they just look slightly tighter than they should. Um, on the second sock, I have already made a mistake or two, or a bunch, I, um, <laughs> oh, excuse me, <coughs> um, I think I stopped working on this, when did it happen, okay, so where I left off on this, I had turned the heel, and I had picked up, um, the stitches, but I hadn't started at that point, well, when I did start, I just kind of forgot about the pattern part, and just worked it straight because I wasn't thinking. And so there are like, I think I missed two, looks like I missed at maybe one, two um, pattern rows. So, so you can sort of see like right here where my um, ring finger is, that it's, um, it doesn't look the same. But that happens to be on the foot, that's where you know, it will bend and I'm not worried about it. So I decided, by the time I realized it, I was like, I'm not gonna rip back and fix it though. 
whatever. Their socks. I'm not concerned. Their socks for me, so I'm really not concerned. Um, yeah, so I have a pretty small foot. I wear, um, depending on the brand, anywhere between a six and a half and an eight. Yeah, I have like a, my toe, like where the, I guess, is that the ball of your foot? Like, you know, right below your toes. The part you step on, I think that's the ball of your foot. Yeah, it is a little, it's wide. Um, like my foot's sort of almost slightly triangular, just a little bit, like not like like that, but it's just like my heel, instead of being like this, it's like that. So I would stick my foot up here, but I probably would fall over and whatever. <laughs> I, um, so sometimes I have to buy wider shoes, like, you know, some shoes run narrow, more narrow or whatever, but I usually wear, um, either New Balance or Converse. Those are my two brands that I wear. New Balance, I wear a six and a half and Converse, I technically need like a seven and a half, but they usually only come in even sizes. So sometimes I can get in a seven and sometimes I have to get the eight. So I think that the ones that I'm, I'm not wearing any right now, but the ones that I have been wearing most recently, I believe they're size eight, but they don't look like eight, so I'm not 100% sure that they're actually eights. They look small, but yeah. I'm pretty excited about it. I don't own sock blockers. I probably should buy some, but um, yeah, it looks like a sock. <sighs> um, yeah, so I've got, I don't know, I don't know how many, um, I think I've done one, I think I've done two repeats since the end of the gusset. So I mean, I've got like 12 more to do before I start um, working on the toe because yeah, jingle jingle. Um, oh, I was going to mention these needles. Um, someone asked me, I think when I bought them, someone asked me, or no, when I bought some different needles, that's what it was. I bought some other sizes. I got some more um, sock size ones. I think I got like a zero and um, the 2.25 millimeter size ones. A little information, there are two size, like when you say US size one, there are two different millimeter sizes, so you have to be careful with that. There's a 2.25 millimeter and a 2.5 millimeter, and it does make a difference. But anyway, so I bought the 2.25 I guess that was what, like last Christmas? Um, yeah, because I, or no, maybe it wasn't. It, I think it might have been March. It was the last time I bought stuff from Nit, Nit Picks, so I think that was March. Um, I bought the other size needles, and someone asked me what I thought about them once I had used them. And I have used Nit Picks needles before, of course, but um, I figured I would talk about the sock size ones. I have really no problem with them. I've not had any problems with the needles popping off or anything like that. Um, I do know from what other people have said that if you do have a problem with them, if they're either like they were manufactured in, like improperly, that there's a maybe like a catch on them or something like that, if you contact the customer service, they will easily replace that for you. And usually they will, um, Send you out a new one and you won't even they won't even ask you to send back the other one but i'm sure you can you know especially if it's not usable you know but yeah so i am happy with them they work well the needle itself on the 16 inches the needle is pretty small like lengthwise as opposed to i don't have another i don't have another um needle sitting around here but you know they are 16 inches so you know the only thing that I noticed is that one of these needles, I ordered both of these at the same time. I can't remember when, but I've, ha I've had them a while. Um, one of them is slightly longer than the other. So that's something to keep in mind. But I think that it's like they were both, um, if I were making a hat on them, it wouldn't be an issue or anything. So I'm not concerned. All right. This, oh, this is in my... Fat Squirrel Speaks bag, or Fat Squirrel Fibers. She has the Fat Squirrel Speaks podcast. And I love these sheets. So this is her sock size bag. I really like it. 
And then the other thing that I've been working on is I've been doing a little bit of spinning. I don't actually know if I've ever... Well, you've seen me buy fiber and spindles and stuff, so I'm sure you know. Sorry. I'm sure you know that I spin, but... Um, So this is what I'm working on. I, it is, the fiber is, um, I bought this at, at a wool gathering last year. So it's um, Purdy Fangs. You gotta say it with an accent too. Purdy Fangs um, by Cheryl McLean. Yeah. And um, these are little roll logs and they are, Rambouillet and Angelina. It was 2.25 ounces total. So I've got four of these little roll logs left in here and there were a bunch. I can't remember how many. There were a bunch in there. One of which is not on this and it will not be on this because that's actually, that I believe was the first thing that I ever spun. Um, and I should get it out at some point. I'll get it out next time um, so I can show you the difference. It's, yeah. It's not good, but that's, I mean, it's, I shouldn't say it's not good. It's just not, it's not as consistent as I would have hoped or whatever. But I mean, it was the first thing I spun. It wasn't going to be consist consistent. So if you don't know about drop spindling, um, basically what you do is you get some fiber and these are roll logs, so they're already kind of thin, but then you, you do pull it out a little bit, which is called drafting when you kind of pull it out and then you know you pull you'll pull it even smaller when you're doing it but basically you spin this and then you pull a little bit which I've got a little twist in the thing you pull it out a little bit and then you let the twist go up into the fiber so you can kind of see on my forehead there and so you make Basically, you know, you're basic, you're making a string. Um, and if you look at your yarn, you know, you see that it's, most yarn is made with multiple strands and those are called plies. And then you put them together called plying. And yeah, well, actually I shouldn't say ply. Well, I mean, I guess they call it plies, but most people will say like, this is a single, you know, it's a single ply. So yeah, oh, now I missed the moved the yarn a little bit so I'm gonna put that back. There we go. So my drop spindle that I'm using is a um this is the standard size I believe or the regular size I'm not sure how she words it by Turtle Maid. Um she has a shop on Etsy. I bought this from her in person but oh no I did not I lie. I bought I have a smaller one that I bought from her in person but this one I bought on her website and it's it's super awesome. This is made with a 3D printer. How cool is that? So you can sort of see, see how it's kind of shiny there? It's, that's because, you know, with 3D printer, you know, it's made with um, like filament or whatever they're calling it. And it's just made, you know, yeah. And you can't really see, but she has, it says turtle made on there, but you can't really see it because I've got too much yarn in the way. Um, I don't know how much this weighs yet. I can't remember how much the actual spindle weighs, not very much, but um, yeah. So I used this, I had the smaller size one, which I, I'm pretty sure I showed on a video way back, um, I think, yeah. But I saw so I have the smaller size one, which is about like that big, and I think that's called the mini. I think that's what she calls it, is the mini. And it doesn't hold as much, but um, I really, 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 really like spinning. Like I wasn't, I did that one, History of Spinning Time. I did the one, one little roll log um, on the mini. And I wasn't, I was like, I'm not very good at this. And I wasn't 100% sure I enjoyed it. So um, I think, yeah, I bought, I bought this one and I bought a different, a different, top world drop spindle um, about the same time 
to sort of try different ones. And so I tried on the drop spindle or the top whorl drop spindle, I tried a different, some of different yarn that I had bought and it's actually still there. I have not worked on it. I did two ounces and that's pretty much it. And it's very thick and thin, but it was, by the end of it, it was much more consistent, which is nice. And now, I mean, what I'm doing now is for me, I'm so excited because it's just, you know, it's very, I don't know, it looks like it could be yarn. And if you look at, and of course it's not going to focus, but <laughs> if you, you know, it's, oh, I wish it would focus so much. I've got pictures on Instagram. If you look on Instagram, you can see, I can't remember, I think I've taken two pictures of it or something, but um, it is much more consistent. There are some places that, you know, are not, but overall it's, it's, it's pretty good. And it's really thin. Like it's, it's coming out quite thin, especially compared to some of the first stuff that I did, which was not, it was not, yeah, it would be probably about a super bulky by the time it was all done, maybe bigger, <laughs> but that's fine. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do yet when it comes to plying it. I think I might, I think all of this, all of the fiber that I have will fit on this. And so I think what I'll do is once that happens, I'll take it off and I'll put it into two separate or two even, um, balls and then just ply them together. Yeah. But I'm excited. I, I really, I really like drop spindling and um, I'm not ready to say that I'm only going to use Turkish spindles, which is the type that this is, like where it's got these four little legs on it. That's called a Turkish spindle. Um, I'm not ready to say that, like, that's the only type of spindle that I want to use, but, um, because I've bought, you know, I have other top world ones too that I, you know, I like, but I don't know. I'm just going to practice with all of them and just see, you know what I have. And then maybe I'll do like a de-stash if like there's stuff that I don't, um, if I know I'm not going to use and then, you know, or maybe do a giveaway. I don't know. I don't know if you guys would want like something that I used. I don't know. Whatever. I figure like if it's a, if it's a spindle or something, <coughs> excuse me, if it's a spindle or something, that's probably okay. Cause it's not like I can, you know, just cause I use it doesn't mean it's finished. So yay. I don't know. I'm happy with it. All right, and I'll just put that back in there later. And I've already talked a long time, so um, what else? What else? What else? Um, I had a boo boo, <laughs> so I was going to take the shawl that I finished the moonrise shawl. I was going to take it with me. I threw it in my weekend bag and didn't think about it. Went to zip it up, and guess what? the zipper caught one of the threads and let's see if I can show that to you. Yeah, you can see it. It's right there. Like it's a big old mess. So I think it's fixable. Like I just have to go in and, um, pick out the stitches and make them even again, because right now it's obviously not. <sighs> yeah. I mean, this is what we're dealing with here. Not supposed to be like that. But I mean, it's not the end of the world. All right, let's do the giveaway. Let's do the giveaway. So, refresh, refresher. You are getting the skein of yarn. It is from Midwest Fiber Farm, I believe. Yes. Um, it has two names on here, but I believe that it was two ladies sharing a booth. Or maybe like they have the same company, but the other one was... Um, the fiber room at Baker and Company Llamas. The reason I thought they might be two different um, things is because there was kind of, the way they had it delineated, there was a lot of llama-based products sort of by themselves and then there was other stuff by itself. So I could be wrong. Um, the, I can't remember. Now it's, um, I'll look it up again. It's going to give you the information that I could not remember. It's 100% domestic merino, 250 yards. And I believe it weighed, 
the information is on the last video, but I believe it was like 4.2 ounces maybe or something like that. Okay. I've had it in this Ziploc bag since, other than me just getting the card or looking at the tag. But so I um let's see, I've got the comments. I've got the comments up. And there were, I believe, there were under 20 or there were 20, something like that. Um, so I figured I didn't need to put them in a spreadsheet. So let's see. There's fiber on my thing. So um, I'm on random.org. And let me count that real quick. I probably should have counted that. Why did I do that? I did count it. And now I can't remember. But let me do it real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so there are 19 comments. Um, so I'm going to do between 1 and 19. And you cannot see that, but just trust me, it's 1, one and 19. And I'm going to hit generate. Okay, and the result is number 15. So that would be... That would be... I'm going to go back. Um, I put them through like, if you don't have a, if you don't get like YouTube comments or you don't have a YouTube account, they, they've redone the comments a little weird, but okay. So that is mystic frog 43. And I believe her name is Tony. So go ahead and send me a message. You can send me a private message on here <laughs> or on um, Ravelry, or you can direct message me on Instagram, any of those. Um, send me your, you know, your name and your mailing address and all that stuff. Um, and also, if you want me to go ahead and cake it up for you, I don't know if you have a, if you don't have a skein winder or any of that stuff. If you want me to do that, let me know. And so just go ahead and shoot that info off to me and I'll get it off to you probably, I'm going to say within, I'm shooting for within a week, but remember I may be out of town, but my husband can send it off if, um, if I have to go out, like you just may not get like, I don't know, he can send it off for me. But yeah. Congratulations. Are you excited? Yes. So, um, is that everything? I need sleep, but I can't do that. I have laundry going because Sunday is usually my laundry day and I didn't get to do any laundry, so now I'm playing makeup. Um, oh, I was going to mention, so I am at 14,996 subscribers, or at least I was before I started. Four away from 15,000. That's such a huge number. Like, I remember when I hit, like, 500 <laughs> and 5,000. Like, it's just amazing. And I just wanted to thank you guys so, 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 so much. You have added something to my life that I didn't even know was missing. Like, I love reading your all's comments. And I love it when you, you know, tell me something that you like. Or even if you something that you don't like, I'm fine with it. Um, I just... I don't know. I love it all. And I do get, it depends on the day of the week, but I do tend to get a lot of comments. Um, most of it's on some older videos, but that's probably because I have not been making as many videos. <laughs> um, but it's, I read every comment. I get them in my email. And so I read them in my email and it's, it's just awesome. Like, when you guys say something and like sometimes I want to like run and go and respond to you but I can't because I've got you know other stuff going on but <clears throat> I'm sorry oh I don't know got like something going on um but yeah I just really yeah starting this YouTube channel was one of the best things that I ever did and yeah there's really, there's not really much more I can say than that, uh, you know, I mean, like, to describe how I feel, like, about it. Because I never thought that anyone would really watch, or anyone that I didn't know would watch. Um, 
and you all have you've watched and it's awesome so uh, in the future what's gonna be happening I've got some tutorials and stuff that I've actually I've got some filmed completely filmed some that are partially filmed um, some that are partially edited <laughs> and so I've got some stuff that's gonna be going up you know obviously I do some you know more uh, at least lately I've been doing like more basic things and less like full tutorials like for patterns and stuff um, but I have some patterns that I'm working on um, some are still in my head but some are more you know flushed out than that um, but is it flushed, it's flushed out flushed out yeah again no sleep <laughs> um, yeah so I am just trying to keep going on um but you know of course with my mom being sick I may not get as much done I may not get anything done so if you you know if I sort of drop off for a little bit like it's not a big deal if you follow me on Instagram crafting with Claudia over there you I, I'm there I I read that stuff I check it at least once a day so if you are on there and we follow each other or whatever or you leave a comment or whatever um that's probably the best way to keep in contact with me like that I will actually see it first um I do have Facebook it's crafting with Claudia over there um I do get those notifications and stuff too I don't check that every day because I've been trying not to get on Facebook every day <laughs> so um and let's see Ravelry crafting Claudia there and I have a Twitter it's crafting with Claudia but I think I'm not, I'm not even sure I don't actually use it for like communicating with people I just have it like to where it sets up and automatically says um, that I released a video or whatever I don't know I probably should start using Twitter again I don't know we'll see we'll see <laughs> I like Instagram better I like the pictures so all right that's it I have talked for a lot so I'm going to go and I've got to finish up laundry. I think that the washing machine stopped. So I'm going to go and switch over the laundry and stuff and wait for that to get done. And then I'm going to probably drive. Yeah, lots of driving. So I will talk to you all next time. Or you'll probably see maybe another video before that if I, I don't know, we'll see. It might be a different type of video than this. But anyway, I hope you guys are... Having a good one. I hope you guys this weekend was really awesome. It's better than mine. It had to be. <laughs> so I um yeah. Bye.